Uh, my name is uh, Major Waite. I'm the surgeon here in the 117th Yard Volunteers. This is where we do all the major amputations. How many amputations were done at Gettysburg? At Gettysburg, thousands of amputations were done at Gettysburg. Uh, a lot of wounded men out of the field being brought into hospitals. Uh, a lot of hospitals were in houses, barns, uh, particularly Seminary Ridge. The uh, seminary there was used for a hospital by the Union, and then we were pushed through the town and the Confederates took over that hospital. What, what was the uh, casualty figures? Uh, at Gettysburg, well, there was over 50,000. Uh, killed and wounded uh, during the Battle of Gettysburg, and it was a three-day battle. A uh, lot of wounded. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, Union Army had a plenty of ambulances available. They had over 200 here available on the battlefield to be able to get men off of the field and to the hospitals quickly. Otherwise, the casualty rate would have been higher. How do you go about amputating a limb? A typical amputation would have taken between 10 and 15 minutes. Uh, the way you do it, you have to create a flap with the skin, with a, a scalpel, and then after that, you're going to cut through the muscle. The skin has to be pulled back. You cut through the muscle down to the bone, okay? And then you take a bone saw, you cut through the bone, you remove the limb, then you have to suture your arteries, make sure they're tied up so they don't leak once you're uh, bound up. And then uh, you also have to clean the wound a little bit. We uh, put some laudanum on the area, it's a good painkiller. So when he does come out from under, then he'll, he won't feel any pain in that area, okay? Uh, and you also have to file the bone down, make sure it's smooth. Uh, and then we take and suture the two flaps together. Then we pack the wound with moist lint, we bandage it, and then he goes back to the hospital tent. Mm. Hopefully he doesn't get infection. Well, what was the survival rate of amputees? Uh, the first day was 76% survival rate. That was in the first 48 hours. After that, it went down to about 60%. So it dropped very quickly. Oh, okay. So if they survived the first day, then they had a much larger chance. Of, of course. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, and but, remember, oh. we did not know how long it was before they got wounded. They mm. could have been out on the field three days ago and then just came into the hospital, so it made a tougher time for the surgeons to do what they had to do. If he came in and his leg was bleeding profusely, mm -hmm. he was just recently wounded, probably can save his leg. Mm. It was several days ago when he came in, his leg is pale looking, very cold. What's the sense in taking out the bullet? Mm. I'm going to amputate his leg because his leg is, is bled out, it's dead. Alright, All right, thank you.